Hi there. Today we are going to talk about the hottest and the newest security camera, which is the dual lens camera. Now, the special thing about this camera is it has two lenses. One is fixed, and the other one you can move around. So basically, you won't miss anything. Now we all know you can use an SD card for storage and watch the video on your mobile devices. But today, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you two other ways to connect your camera to the NVR, so you can watch the video on the monitor and record the videos to your hard drive. And I'm going to tell you what are the advantages of doing it. But before we jump to the video, please subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, so you won't miss any of our updates. So if you connect your cameras to an NVR, the first benefit is you can get much larger space to storage. Now you can have more footages for a longer period. And it is essential for business or organization that needs to retain video footage for a longer period. Now, the second benefit is you can offer better video quality. You can capture more details so you can ensure that you have a clear footage because it is useful to identifying individual or events. And also, instead of watching the videos on a small screen, why don't we watch it on a big monitor? So we are going to do it on a demonstration board. Now, let's go. So here we are at the demonstration board. Now, I'm going to show you how to connect our dual lenses security camera to our network with video recorder through the Wi-Fi network. So we need to power up our camera, so make sure you have the power source available at the edge device. Also, you have to check your Wi-Fi coverage if it's strong enough. And you can just easily check it by using your phone. Now, if your signal is weak, that means you might need to add a Wi-Fi repeater to boost up the signal. Otherwise, you may get choppy videos and poor quality. Now, the, the second thing you need to pay attention is the Wi-Fi setting. Make sure your Wi-Fi is compatible because some cameras only support 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So make sure your router is broadcasting a 2.4 gigahertz. So we are connect, going to connect our dual lenses security camera to the NVR through our phone. Over Please there, Please configure the network according to the instruction. Okay, it's already waiting to connect. Now, over that side, the MVR is already connected to our access point. Now, let's see how do we do it on the phone. First, we're going to open the app and we're going to discover the below device. Let's see, we already Waiting found it. Please configure the network according to the instruction. Okay, and make sure you connect it to the same router as the NVR. Now, let's search. Connecting, please read. Connect to router successfully. All right, we are all set and done. Now, it's already connected to our phone. So now we are going to do the second method, which is using the standard PoE. Now, as you can see, we have the PoE injector on this side and the PoE splitter over this side. And we are going to connect everything together. Now, let's move on to the PoE injector. This is our PoE injector. And we have the AC power port right here, the PoE port and the LAN port. Let's power up our PoE injector and you can see the power light is already on and next we are going to connect the LAN port to our main network which is to our access point right here let's connect to the access point and for the PoE port, we are going to put in our Ethernet cable and the Ethernet cable will power up our camera over this side. Now, we also need the PoE splitter. 
Let's connect our PoE splitter with the Ethernet cable. The PoE splitter will split, split divided to power and data. And we are going to connect the power port. And it has power source built in. And also, system starting up. The data and port. Please and please. let's connect everything together. It's that simple and easy. Successfully. Now it's already connected. So now it's all set and done and the video is working. The wire camera is more stable and reliable. It is not subject to interference by other, other device or signal loss. However, the wireless camera can experience drop out and signal loss. And also it cannot handle multiple HD IP cameras. The wire cameras can install at a greater distance from the network switch than wireless. The cables can run up to meters. Now, the wireless camera is limited by the range of Wi-Fi, so you may have required additional equipment such as the wireless access point to extend the range. So did you learn anything today in this video? Please like us and share it with your friends. And if you want to know more about the dual lenses security camera, you can leave a comment below and we'll reply you soon. Now, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.